I'm DD Denzo. Some people call me Darren O'Connor. I quit my job. I quit my flat. I decided to go walking across the UK. I tried to raise awareness for the vaccine injured via UKCV Family, the only registered vaccine injury and bereavement charity. There will be a crowdfunder and uh, help me and Lucy change our algorithm. So we're on our way to Ilfracoon which uh, we was informed as we left the Dibble Park by Carol, the landlady there, uh, that it was a bit rough and they had a few drug problems and immigration was mentioned as well. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what Ilfrica is like. If it's another swilly on the sea, uh, a bit like Paynton in Plymouth, uh, in Devon. Uh, anyway, so we're on there and we've just spent the last three days at Dibble Farm. We, we extended our stay. We was only going to plan to stay there for two days. And I have to say, this part of the country, North Devon, North Somerset, uh, is absolutely spectacularly beautiful. Lucy just said it's like an Enid Blyton book. Yeah. It's, a, it's how you imagine uh, England to look, so absolutely spectacular. And if you're looking for a campsite in the south of England, in the Devon area, uh, where it's beautiful, it's quiet, it's peaceful, it's clean, you will be looked after like a superstar. Go and Google Diffle Farm, they've got the website. Uh, please go and check that uh, campsite out. And uh, they are, uh, it's just an amazing place. Anyway, we're off to Ilfracum, and me and Lucy are looking at doing some weather dodging over the next week because the rain and the thunder and lightning is expected right across the south. There's no way we can avoid it, uh, but we're going to try our best. Elfcombe Tunnel Beaches, uh, basically you're just paying £3.75 for an adult to come and uh, sit on your own private beach. Uh, and as I said in the intro, um, some uh, Carol, the landlady at Dipple Farm, she said, you know, oh, Elfcombe's quite rough. And we've walked in, we've seen a few, you know, it looked really, really nice and lovely when we got here. But as soon as we stepped away from the town centre, uh, you could see the underbelly of this place, which is definitely poverty. Uh, there was some homelessness, uh, boarded up shops and stuff. You could just sense it, that this is a place in decline. And it might be, if you go for three pounds seventy-five, it might be nice to just go on the private beach. There's a bit of breeze flying through here. And we're not mic'd up. Allow people to wade in the ocean without violating Victorian notions of modesty. Hmm. Roll into the sea. Wow. It's the bathing machine. So you sit in it and they roll you out to sea. So you can experience bathing without being seen naked. Weird. Nice to get inside her. Really? I think that's a bit weird. So this is Ilfracombe. In the distance you can see these uh, giant hills. It is hope, I hope the coastal path goes around them. Uh, we'll be walking that. And we're headed towards Linton and Linmouth tomorrow. So uh, this is awful. Seems everywhere I go is uh, more beautiful than the last place. And uh, here we're outside Ilfracum and it's no different. Uh, the views are spectacular. The coastline is unbelievable. Some of the rock faces and cliffs and stuff. Uh, you, know, you can see that the sun's starting to set. I mean, I've just been on a mission because we didn't have any gas. We bought a load of food and we didn't have any gas. So that's, uh, we had to phone around to find a shop. So I've just been on a four-mile march uh, back uh, into Ilfracum to get some gas and to, some supplies. And Lucy's doing all the washing up and, and doing all the clothes, washing clothes and drying clothes and that. So uh, all good. Uh, we'll eat and watch a film together tonight in the tent. And we'll march on. Uh, there's the Isle of Lundy is close by. I think we can get there by ferry. So that, that's in mind. And uh, see the puffins. And while the sun is out, everything's great. Uh, the green is doing wonders for our mental health. And uh, we feel really chilled and settled. 
and we're almost two weeks into our journey and uh, it's almost become normal how we're living at the moment in a tent and just eating and we've got help, had some help from passers by and friends and, and people put us up, Twitter followers. But um, yeah, I don't think we're gonna wanna come back when this is all over and done with. But there is rain predicted. That, can tend, that tends to ruin everything. So, uh, but we're looking at that as a, a challenge. We're gonna try and find ways of enjoying ourselves with, just with a tent. That sounds dodgy as hell. Uh, when it's raining, uh, we're gonna find other ways of keeping ourselves entertained and trying to see if we can use the rain to make some interesting videos. So, uh, yeah, see what happens over the next couple of days because uh, there are heavy rain and thunderstorms predicted in this part of the country. It's the seven o'clock in the morning. Uh, uh, she's like, that was the fucking camera on. <laughs> she's up really early. We're uh, rain dodging for the next couple of days, and we're on top of a we're on top of a giant hill in Elfacombe, or just outside of Elfacombe. And the winds are getting up to like 40, 50 miles an hour now. So uh, we've got a few exciting days today, and it's the first time we've had to like pack up inside the tent and pack up inside out. He's flying. There you go then. <laughs> so, yeah, at least you are. Just having a little explore around the area before we uh, make our way to Linmouth and Linton. Are they the same place? Linton and Linmouth, yeah. They are the same place, aren't Practically, they? Yeah. So we're going there. Also home of a giant flood once upon a time. That definitely wasn't man made. Plant. It's called a gunnera. I used to have one. It's your favourite plant now. It is, yeah. It's just suddenly become your favourite plant. I used to have one. The camera on. I had a dwarf gunnera, so it grew to about that high, uh -huh. and it has huge Jurassic leaves like this. So I just think it's really cool. Yeah, it does. It looks cool. Very, uh, yeah, very Jurassic, very Cretaceous. Yes. Probably because of all the CO2. <laughs> Lucy is our resident herbologist. Everywhere we go, Lucy, yeah. there's a castle. Now, I'm not saying it's my favourite castle, John, because Camelot Castle is still my favourite. <laughs> but, but, your castle, mate, doesn't have a moat or, and a uh, giant surrounding wall, fortress wall, does it? <laughs> uh. Anyway, that's Watermouth Castle. Yeah. Cool. She's crazy. So, behind me is another hill. It's directed us off the coast path, and that's because there's a landowner's but just in there's a driveway and uh, along the side. And uh, you can see the coast path, it's just there, and they've cut it off. So there's a question to people who are watching. Should landowners be allowed to block the coastal path? Because it's fucking annoying, it's out of the hill at about a quarter of a mile to my journey. This is Coo Martin. Uh, look at the amazing scenery. We're probably going to climb up that hill over there so this path to come up. And we're looking for a camping shop to buy gas. Because yesterday the gas I bought, it looked right until I took the cap off and the adapter was wrong. So uh, we're looking for a camping shop in Coo Martin. We've been told this one here. So, all little adventures. And it's windy and it's raining. And we're both, we're both loving it. We've just climbed a really, really high hill. We're high up, got a little dead spot here. It's raining and Lucy wants to go the long way. And I just thought I'd put it on record that Lucy wanted to go the long way. There's buses on the road. And there's buses on the long way, but we've still got miles to go to get there. 
Lucy's decision, not we mine. Just up a huge hill. <laughs> about two thousand feet. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> well, Lucy. We're at the top of the world here. Insane. We are high up. We've just gone three consecutive seven hundred foot peaks. Right, I've got, my battery's about to run out. Been using it all on the map. Final hill to conquer. And it's the worst one of the lot. It is, according to my uh, OS map, the elevation on this is straight up. So but over the other side is Linton, Linmouth, and me and Lucy. She doesn't know it yet, but we've walked about 14, 15 miles today. And uh, she's going to tell me off in a minute. <laughs> and uh, when we get to the other side, we're probably going to book a hotel oh, or a B&B. Yeah, I don't know your feet hurt. So we're, we're in a small, yeah, little hotel room. We've got to be careful not to show too much of Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as you can see, it's been uh, quite a long day hiking. Drying our clothes. And everything right now is drying because we've been walking in rain all day. Yeah, some things have got wet. The was already wet from this morning. So, yeah. This is our pit stop, so to speak, yeah. uh, before we move uh, eastwards again, Minehead direction. We haven't decided yet. Don't forget to like, repost, and most importantly, comment uh, on my videos, please. Uh, this actually helps me. If you can, check out UKCV Family, the charity. Uh, they have a donation uh, option on their website. Uh, which is ukcvfamily.org. Go and check them out. You can donate to them too.